Good morning, campers. So we are back, like back, back. Uh, we had a couple, we had like a rough week there for a minute, changing over medications, but no, we're doing a lot better no. now. That's like following the car seat. It is day two of house hunting. Mommy, let me see. And Mommy, let me see. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell everyone what uh, you said? Mommy, let me see. What you said that God loves you? Mommy, yeah. It, tell me about it. Because God says that Stormy is um, dumping out the toys, and God doesn't like Stormy doing that. Oh, so you think that. God loves you because you cleaned up the toys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she also said that God loves her and she's God's favorite because the sun follows her. Kids say the funniest things. They're so cute. No, nope, that's not. Honey, that's not daddy. Can you imagine like you're walking with your kids and they're like yelling daddy at some like rando? Mommy, is that daddy? That's not daddy. Um, nope, daddy's right here. Look, see? Oh, there he is. And Daddy has oh black suit on. Black yeah. Suit on. It was black so funny suit. yesterday. The, <laughs> we were with our realtor. And the kids were like. Oh, no, let me see. So yesterday. Ooh, when good I, when morning, the kids campers. Were, good morning, campers. You're the cutest, Snowy. You are too, Stormy. Uh, man, the back of our car looks like we're living in it. <laughs> uh. Anyway, you can, I mean, do you want to explain the back or not really? I don't know what's going on back there. You can explain it because I'm not sure. I haven't even looked back there. In like we don't a long have time. storage, so that's the kids' scooters and their bikes and their skateboards and their helmets. Got it. Okay, and yeah, that makes sense. The wagon. We don't have anywhere to put it in the motorhome, so that's it's our storage facility. Okay, so he's throwing our trash away in this dumpster right here because we're at this like RV resort that we're staying at it's kind of hard to see but um we've like haven't really been hanging out here because ever since we got here we've been house hunting so a full Whoa. another day of house hunting good morning campers good morning campers good morning campers so um Yesterday, where the kids were like, We're hungry, we want sushi. I was like, Kids, keep it down. Like, people already know we're not from around here. <laughs> like, a bougie kids screaming for sushi. Like, they're like two and five. They're like, We want sushi. Um, I was just like, Oh my god, <laughs> what have we done? and getting ready to make some like a quick dinner because it's late um so i'm gonna be heating up this garden vegetable i don't know it's really good though um we are making some soup because it's freaking cold here so we're trying to warm up with some yummy organic soup um and i am going to have some non-organic non GM or GMO um, rice. This stuff's really good and it like heats up in like a minute, two and a half minutes. So um, I had to show you guys some of the makeup stuff that I used today that I really liked that were new, that was new. So this CoverGirl clean mat, it's like the old school. Like when I was in high school, I had these little compacts um, with the little like this thing. I don't know how you clean this like after a while. I'm assuming just like soap and water, but um, see how like i'm really shiny right here check this out Wait, are you, you combination skin oh travis travis it's like it's because you have combination skin look at how well that takes away the shine it just like mattens you up yeah. and i get so oily because i have such oily skin especially when i'm wearing makeup it just like it gets it like really bad but like look at it soaked up all of that oil and shine Oh, I love it. So big fan of this. Um, and I just got it at Target. 
It's like the oil control. And then my other little secret is Aquaphor. My husband says there's really bad stuff in here. Like the petroleum is supposed to be really bad for you. So if you're like a clean makeup girly, you probably are not gonna like this. But honestly, this is like the best stuff in the world that actually works for like chapped lips. And I use it as like lip gloss. Um, Cause I don't like sticky lip gloss, but like it's stuck in your hair and feels sticky on your lips. I don't like that. What's wrong? What happened? Matter. Your oh, you're putting yeah, pretzels in my straw and my water? Oh. I know, baby. I'm right here. Listen. Hey, listen. You want to play? Here. If you want to play with this, that's totally fine. Look, you just got to ask me, okay? Say, hey, mom, I want to put pretzels in your straw. Is that okay? And sometimes if I'm in a good mood, I'll be like, yeah, sure, dude. You can put pretzels in my straw. Oh, look, I see a pretzel in there. I need to clean my straw anyways. So there's like freaking mold in there, which is so nasty. So I have a question for you guys. This is the simple modern, like water, whatever. And I love it, but there goes my straw. <laughs> so there is mold, like black mold in the straw. So nasty. So this is what I did. I bought these fancy glass straws and we're gonna try them out together hey can we not do that please and see what we think because i've never had a stanley before so any stanley users i know stanley's like all the rage right now i think it was like the stanley would have been like ten dollars more than this simple modern one anyway so here's the glass straw okay wow love this someone was talking about how the simple modern straws they're like hard to suck out of oh, them and also Please. they get Soup? really nasty on the inside yeah, yeah, yeah. um so these glass straws it's not hard to suck up like it comes out really easily mm. and you can see if there's like nastiness in it right because it's glass so i got a whole case of them um i'll link them on my storefront but they're healthier than using the plastic straws supposedly you know healthy balance i say like some things I just let go and don't care. And then other things I try to be healthier, like balance. No one's perfect. Or you could just, if you don't want to go to my storefront, cause you're, I don't know, just don't want to. This is, these were the glass straws I got them on Amazon. Has anyone else changed their new year's resolution goals like 16 times? Cause I have. <laughs> okay, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, my goals. Cause I have them all over, like all over the place so that I can see them all the time. And, um, I just changed them like quite a few times, uh, because I've changed my mind a lot. And I don't know if like, that's just me or like my ADHD. And also like, because since I've changed my medication, I'm going to get to the houses in a second, but I want to just like catch up. Cause I feel like we've been going, going, going nonstop looking at houses all day that I haven't had a chance to like vlog and like talk to you guys. So I want to catch up, um, my ADHD. Okay. So I switched medication. I think I told you guys this. And it's so rough with like prescription medication because it's like you take one medication and then it like causes issues. So then you have to take another medication to kind of offset that issue, at least for me, like, and I'm on like seven or eight different prescription. Like I have like literally a big gallon Ziploc baggie of like all my prescription medications because of like my autoimmune stuff and just like, all, I'm just on like my uh, like anxiety I'm on all these different medications I feel like literally an 85 year old lady <laughs> with like my huge bag of pills um, and now that I started this new medication uh, my ADD like my ADHD symptoms have come back so strong that it's like very very difficult for me to like concentrate stay, stay on track like there's just so many things that make just like my daily life difficult you know um and it's and if anyone else has ADHD you might be able to relate to this a little bit but like I'm not medicated for it and I have tried different medications in the past and I really was hopeful because I see all these other people that like got these like late ADHD diagnoses and like they start this medication they're like my whole life changed like oh my gosh like it's so amazing like I feel normal and like, no, you know, like I'm able to focus and all these different things. And I'm like, 
not jealous, but like a little envious because I'm like, man, I wish that the medication made me feel that way because I took ADD medicine and made me tired and like slow. Like I felt so slow and like I wanted to take a nap. <laughs> I was like, that did not, I thought I was going to like clean the whole house, have all this energy, but because I think I already have all of that energy and like racing ideas and thoughts and all these different things, like there's pros, right? And then there's cons. And, um, a lot of times the, the cons are very frustrating because, you know, you start something, then you, you can't finish it or you have like, it takes all freaking day to try to get something done because you keep like getting distracted, you know? Um, and even like with Travis, I know, and I notice it when I'm vlogging that like, I am always cutting people off when they're talking because my brain is like 10 steps ahead of them. And like, and I can't help it. And it's like, that is really frustrating because I feel it's like from the outside, like it, it just looks rude, you know? Um, and like, I'm talking over people or like interrupting them. And a lot of times like I'll interrupt because I, if I don't, I'm going to forget what I'm going to say. And also like, I just get like very bored with, I just sound so bad, but like if someone keeps talking, I like get bored and I'll just zone out and like start thinking about something totally different. And then I don't hear a lot of what they're saying and they're still talking. <laughs> so it's just like a lot of those things that is a struggle because like I laugh about it because I don't, I like, I don't know how else to like react because it's something that I struggle with. And it's like something I wish I didn't have to deal with and I wish there was like a medication that could help me with like a lot of those things but the medicines I've tried just have not worked for me and I'm still working with my psychiatrist and I told him like I give up and he's like don't give up Shannon like once you find the right dosage you know a lot of times like that tiredness can go away if you just get past those three days because you know like I'll do a medicine for like three days and I'm like okay no I don't want to do this anymore and I like give up because <laughs> I'm like it's making me tired I don't like it um so yeah, anyway, that's something I'm dealing with right now. And so I'm like debating whether or not I want to try the medication again, but I'm like, I just freaking switch this other medicine that I'm on. So anyway, that's just one extra thing. But the houses today, there was one house I really loved, but it did not have like an office space for me or like a studio. And because I work from home and like the kids are there, I kind of need like my own workspace, but I don't know. So that one was difficult. It was a brand new house. Like all new construction, super nice. So, um, and then we looked at some, oh man, there was a really interesting house that we looked at today that was like so grand and huge, but it had some like, I don't know, there was like some mystery to it. Even when our realtor was like, the house was pretty mysterious. There was like a lot of things going on there that were like mysterious and interesting and kind of weird. Um, but I love house hunting. It's so fun to go look at like different houses and the different layouts and, um, especially like in a new state, you know, we're like seeing a lot of things that we're not used to seeing in California. Um, and even in North Carolina where we have two houses that are investment houses, um, they're just like one, for example, like a lot of times the backyards are not fenced in. And so to us, like coming from California, that's like very rare. Usually like everyone's houses are fenced in. It's like their own private area. And out here, like, everything's just open. You see, like, right into, like, your neighbor's backyard, all of your neighbors. There's, like, <laughs> it's like a free-for-all. Um, so that was interesting because I was like, where's the gates? Like, how come there's no fences? Just, like, some some interesting things. I love our realtor. She's so cool and nice and, like, puts up with us and having the kids. The kids have been such troopers, like, going in and out of all these houses two days in a row and, um, you know, being good and not being able to like touch anything, you know, or like run around and um, make a mess. So they've been really awesome. Our realtor has been very patient with us and just a really good realtor. Um, so yeah, very happy about that. Um, and what else? Um, I think that's really it. Tomorrow it's supposed to freaking snow. And so I, being in the motorhome, it's a little, tricky because it gets very chilly in here um because it's not insulated like in actual houses so as you can see we've got space heaters and then we also have like a house heater but if we ran the heat the whole time we'd run out of propane so that's why we have these when we when we're hooked up to electric um so that's interesting 
because we're supposed to move to a different campground um, tomorrow, but if it's depending on how bad the snow is, we might be staying here. So we're not going to look at houses tomorrow because of the snow, um, but then we'll resume the next day um, after there's no more snow. Hi, honey. Hi. Right, Hi, my sweetie. You want to tell them how your day was today? Did you like looking at the houses? Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Did you like all of them? Like one. Oh, you liked one? Which one? Was it the first one? First one. Yeah. Mommy liked the first one the best. You remember she snow got to the house and she's like, I want to buy this one. Can we buy this one, please? <laughs> like we were shoe shopping. She's like, hi, I'd like to buy this one, please. You really liked that house, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're going to end the vlog. We just wanted to say yeah. thanks for hanging with us. And we will see you tomorrow. It's supposed to be snowing. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. So we will let you know how that is and what we do on a snow day inside an RV. Living in an RV on a snow day with two kids. Ah, going to be wild. Let's we'll see how that goes. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Good job, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs>